Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. This time we're going to build a relational database from scratch, starting with two obvious tables and seeing how the one to many relationships develop as we build those relationships. So let's take an example we're all probably familiar with, and that is students taking classes. And when you build a relational database from scratch, you'll probably just start out with those obvious tables that you know you'll need and then start building relationships from there. If I'm going to track the students in my classes, I'm going to have a students table and I just put three quick fields in there to get it started and a classes table. And again, I just put three quick fields in there to get started. If I go into the relationship screen and try and relate these two tables, I say to myself, can one student take many classes? Yes but one class can have many students. Yes, the so students and classes have a many-to-many -many relationship. If I cannot connect these directly, I'm going to have to have an intermediate table to build a many-to-many -many relationship. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a table in design view, and I'll call this student classes. I'm just gonna give this an ID with auto number, and if I'm going to relate it to both the students and the classes table, I'm going to need to have some foreign keys in here. Both the student ID and the classes ID are auto number fields. And when they're on the many side of a relationship, they're number fields. I'm going to make this one my primary key field. I'm going to save this table and call it student classes. So now that I have an intermediate table, I can pull that in and build a one-to-many relationship between the student's table and the student classes table, and a one-to-many relationship between the classes table and the student classes table. So now one student can take many classes, and one class can have many students. But then you say to yourself, actually, one class can have many sections. Every class is offered multiple times a semester for multiple semesters. So these classes are really sections. So let's go ahead and delete this relationship and pull this table over and let's build a sections table. Section ID, I'm going to make that the auto number field and it's going to have a class in it. So I'm going to go ahead and relate it to the classes table and let's do a semester field. Save, and we're going to call this sections, and I'm going to pull in my sections table here. So one class can have many sections. Let's relate those. And one student isn't really in many classes. They're in many sections. So I've got to fix my student classes table and um, change this to section ID. I'm also going to break this relationship I'm even going to rename this because it's really not student classes, it's student sections now. So renaming your fields and your tables to be as clear as possible in the beginning is super helpful. Classes might also be a little bit confusing because it gets mixed up with sections. So I'm going to break that relationship as well. Delete the classes table. I'm going to call it master classes because this is my master list of every class that someone can take. It's not a section, it's not an instance of a class, it's a list of all the classes that are possible. So here's all my classes, my master classes table of, of all the classes that can be taken. There are many sections of it, so I've got a one-to-many relationship between master classes and sections. And here's my student sections table. One student can be in many sections, one section can have many students there through the process of thinking about my business. I started out with a student's table and a class's table and kept asking myself, can one record in one table be related to many records in another table and vice versa? And in that process then worked through the fact that I'm going to need at least four tables here to build this relational database. Thank you.